We're in our home screen for the WLS555 onboard weighing system. When we first set the system up, there's a number of things that we want to go in and take care of. So over here we have a gear wheel and this is going to take us into our base um, user system setup. So under our units we have a choice of weight, volume, pressure and temperatures and what language. The default as we come into it is kilograms. Here you have a choice, you can do pounds, tons, um, tonnies, metric, and kilograms. So today we're going to be working with tons, so I just come in and select that. From a volume standpoint, I uh, have cubic meters, uh, cubic yards, and uh, cubic feet. Uh, the default, as we're set up here, is going to be cubic meters, so we will leave that set that way. We will leave pressure. Um, when we read uh, hydraulic pressure, we have a choice of bar or PSI. We'll leave the default as PSI. Temperature, we're working here in the U.S., so we will do Fahrenheit. Uh, for our friends in Canada, we can do centigrade. Our default language is English. We do have uh, Spanish coming on the horizon, and as well, we have French coming. So I've made a change here, so I will go ahead and hit the Submit button. And I've saved my change. I will now come over here to System. In the system, I have Machine ID. I have Calculate Price, so if I want to show pricing on any of my tickets, uh, I simply go over and turn that on. And these are all user selectable fields. I can put in a sales tax rate. So I'm going to come in here and on my sales tax rate I'm going to put 8.25 and I will go ahead and we will save that. Um, I can go into my price rounding. I'm just going to get rid of this screen. I can go price rounding. I can go unit rounding. Um, I can create a hardware alarm if I'm going to use a printer. So I am going to use a Zebra printer. I also can use a desktop printer. And the desktop printer is available in two different methods. So from the system, we can actually generate a PDF file uh, that will download to my files on our Samsung tablet. As well, I can go out and I can, if I'm within 300 feet uh, of the machine to a scale house, I can go to a desktop printer so I can set up a Brother, an HP, uh, a wide range of printers. Uh, in this case we're not going to set it up but the facility is there to print directly from the machine to a scale house printer. I can come in and I can change an invoice. So where do I want my invoice? I want my invoices to start at a thousand. I'm going to back that up. Change that to a thousand and that is done. So now when I print my tickets, we need to know whose information is going to show uh, on that. And so we could put in, in our case, we would put scale and control our address, our city, our state, our zip, and our phone. For our friends north of the border in Canada, uh, we can do province names, we can do postal codes in Canada. And then we would go ahead and again I would hit submit and I would save all that information. That is the base setup. These show this is for calibration. Uh, we won't worry about that. And that is the base system setup.